In this video, you will find suggestions to avoid emails being sent to spam or rejected when your web contact form is submitted. When someone submits a contact us form through your website, an email gets generated. It then passes through Google's email servers. At this point, Gmail scans the message to avoid spam and harmful software. If everything is fine, it delivers the email message on the account you've configured to receive your website's contact us form messages. To fix these types of issues, first, you need to identify if your form provider uses SPF or SMTP to send the messages. SPF records allow you to authenticate server names or IP addresses that you allow to send emails on behalf of your domain. As you can see, once the form is submitted, an email is generated. Google servers check for the SPF record, and if it is successfully verified, the email may go to your inbox, spam, or might even be rejected. When you only send email messages through the Gmail website or app, you can use the default Google's SPF record you are seeing on the screen. However, as you are using other services to send email messages on behalf of your domain, a custom SPF record needs to be used instead. On the screen, you are seeing an example of a custom SPF record to allow Gmail and Shopify to send emails on behalf of your domain. To get the right SPF record, check with your form service provider. We've collected a list of common form service providers and a link to their documentation on how to create your SPF record. You can find it in the URL on the screen or look for additional info on your form provider's knowledge base. SMTP is another way to authenticate email messages sent via contact form. This authentication method requires your login credentials. As SMTP uses your login credentials, you'll need to check if they are correct. Also, make sure that the SMTP server and ports are the right ones. On the screen, you are seeing the ports and server names used for SMTP and SMTP Relay. We've also collected a small list of form providers that use SMTP. If you'd like to know how to configure it or you're still experiencing issues after updating it, you can go to the Help Center article presented on the screen or look for additional info on your form provider's knowledge base. For more help, check out the Troubleshoot Gmail Issues with Contact Forms page in the Google Workspace Admin Help Center.